Hi guys, welcome to this video on solubility rules where we're going to be looking at how you can figure out whether a salt is soluble or insoluble. So if you're given a salt, you need to be able to work out whether it's soluble or not. So soluble or insoluble. You need to do that for all of these, so the nitrates, chlorides, sulfates, carbonates and hydroxides. So you're going to have to start to learn them to be able to apply it to different questions. So if we start off with the common sodium, potassium or ammonium salts then, uh, most of these, in fact all of them, are soluble. So anytime you have something like sodium chloride, potassium chloride, it is soluble. Nitrates, the same again. Every single nitrate is soluble. So if you're told lithium nitrate, you know straight away it's soluble, it will dissolve. Common chlorides, most chlorides are soluble. However, there are a few main exceptions that you guys need to know, which are silver and lead chloride. So any other chloride that you're given other than silver and lead is going to be soluble. Those are the only two that will form a precipitate. If we move on to common sulfates then, most common sulfates, so the majority of sulfates you'll come across again are going to be soluble, but there are three exceptions you need to know, which are lead again, then we've got barium, and we've got calcium. So lead sulfate, barium sulfate, and calcium sulfate are the three ones that are insoluble and will form a precipitate. And in our final row we have carbonates and hydroxides and the key thing here is that most carbonates and hydroxides are insoluble and therefore most of them will form a precipitate. There are three exceptions which are the ones that we had up at the top of the table which are sodium, potassium and ammonium salts. Therefore sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, potassium carbonate, potassium hydroxide, and ammonium carbonate and ammonium hydroxide are all soluble and will dissolve. So there are two key things that you need to remember from this, other than which are soluble and insoluble, which is if it is insoluble it will form a precipitate which is a solid, and if it is soluble it will not form a precipitate, it will form a solution which is aqueous. Right, so for the exam, you are going to have to remember most of those rules. So it would be a good idea to get them written down and keep on looking through them. So for now, use your notes, and if you can do it from memory, that's great. Have a go at these four questions. First one being, most chlorides are soluble, but some are insoluble. Name one chloride that will form a precipitate. So you must have the start and ending. So for example, sodium chloride. Obviously, sodium chloride is soluble, but that's the idea. Number two, two insoluble sulfates, so two sulfates that will not form a soluble salt. Number three, name three soluble carbonates, so three of them that will dissolve. And then number four, what would you see in a reaction where an insoluble solid is formed? Pause the video, have a go at it now, and we'll see how you've done in a min. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. Uh, let's see how you've done. So number one, most chlorides are soluble, but some are insoluble. Name one chloride that will form a precipitate. There are two that you could have put, which are silver chloride and lead chloride. Name two insoluble sulfates. So there are three, again, you could have put. So any two of these will do. First one being lead sulfate. So that would be a good one to remember. So lead in both these cases is, is insoluble. Barium sulfate and calcium sulfate are your other two. Name three soluble carbonates, so that's our three from the top of that row, the three main exceptions, the ones that are all soluble, which is sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, and ammonium carbonate. And finally, what would you see in a reaction where an insoluble salt is formed? Your answer is a precipitate, which is our keyword down here. Okay, that pretty much ends this video then, so I have a review question for you, which is to summarise and describe the main solubility rules for nitrates, chlorides, sulphates, carbonates and hydroxides. So what it would be a good idea to do is see if you can remember them, and write down a list of soluble and insoluble solids for each of the above salts. Obviously for nitrates, for example, there are no insoluble ones, so you won't be able to do that, but put as many as you can, and then look back, see if you've got it right, and if you've got to learn more, keep doing that. Okay, that is the end of this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook and Twitter.